Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, this is my last PC update video that I've been trying to get to you guys for a couple of days. And uh, the reason why it's been delayed is because I couldn't decide on a headset that I wanted to put on my computer. Um, I actually did an unboxing video and a uh, video in general on the, um, the Astro A40s. And I'm not even going to lie guys, there was so much hype on these headsets. Uh, I read hundreds of reviews on these things. I went and spent two hundred and forty nine ninety nine it's like two sixty seven with tax on these headsets took them home, tried them on, played one game, put them back in the box, and I went right back to the store that same night. No joke um I don't understand what the hype is. maybe it's just me. I don't know, but they didn't wow me. I'm not even gonna lie. Those uh, overpriced headsets just did not do anything for me. They really and truly didn't. I guess they're just not for everybody. They're not as comfortable as everybody says they were. Um, I mean, they're a good headset, I'm sure, for some people, but just they weren't for me. So, basically, I scrapped that video, and I went and bought another pair of headsets, and I've been trying them out for two days. And I tell you what, I jumped into Battlefield 3 the other day, and I have never heard like such amazing headsets. I mean these things like grenades were blowing up in my ears and it was like I was actually like jerking and moving jets were flying by and here in the afterburners tanks were ripping by like when I took them off my ears were almost to the point of ringing and I was only I only had all the equalizers and bass and everything at like 45 percent and the volume at 40 out of a hundred I mean it's they're they're crazy so I'm going to kinda of show you guys real quick I'm gonna spin you right around and these are the headsets that I picked up. The Razer Kraken 7.1 uh, surround sound USB gaming headsets. Uh, these are the ones that I ended up deciding on and I've got to say these things are truly amazing. I was very hesitant to buy them. I was looking at some uh, Logitech G35's for a while. I kept going back to the store, putting them, walking around the store, putting them in my hand and I ended up just deciding to go ahead and get these they are a true uh, a true 7.1 surround sound experience I have to say if you guys are in the market for a headset I definitely recommend uh, this product here um, what's nice about Razer is their boxes as you can hear or see they're all magnetic I know that's stupid but their packaging I mean you guys can see there's my keyboard there's my mouse um, they have got really really good packaging for their products and I'm very very impressed with this product here um, they're an extraordinary extraordinary headset and I'll kinda of spin around here and this is the actual product here the actual sides of the of the ears there light up with the Razer logo they don't pulsate like the mouse does my mouse actually pulsates on and off as you can see they don't do that they actually just stay on like that but they are insanely comfortable and the noise cancellation on these things are insane you put these things on your head you don't hear anything else at all like that's and they're they're that that good and the the little ear cups here these things i mean look at that that's what true memory foam is supposed to do those astro a40s you'd push it and they'd come they look just like these things right here these old turtle beaches they're like this like hard foam stuff that's what the astro a40s were like these things actually have like a leather cup that is very soft and you can see if just by pushing on it that they actually slowly come back that's what I expected comfort in a hundred dollar headset and these were ninety nine dollars so a hundred dollars on these headsets um, they've got memory foam at the top as well for uh, comfort on top of your head and I've worn these for several hours and they have not caused like me to be sore or anything like that they are truly um, a very nice headset what's also cool about them is they have a breakaway cup that way you can bend them up for easy transportation as well and another really cool thing is if you flip these around you'll see this little LED right here that's actually the microphone that's tucked away in the ear cup if you pull it all the way out like this and I just actually muted it um, but this is the actual the actual microphone right there 
There you go. That's what the microphone looks like. It's tucked away in the ear cup and then you just pull it out whenever you want to use it if you want to use this particular setup as a microphone and headset combo. And then whenever you're done with the little earpiece, you just push it right back into the headset just like that. And it's all it's all bendy that way you can kind of bend it and tweak it however you want to. But I have to say that I'm really impressed and it just kind of proves to show you guys that the most expensive stuff is not always the best. Um, I spent $267 on those Astro A40s and I was just not impressed with them at all. They're a good headset, but just not for me. These things were $99 and they are the most comfortable headsets I've ever had. Um, they sound incredible. Like I said, if you guys are in the market for a new headset, uh, Razer Gear makes very, very good products. I mean, I've got the Razer uh, Black Widow Ultimate, I've got the Razer um, Death Adder Mouse, and now I've got the Razer Kraken 7.1 Dolby Digital Surround headset. Um, yeah, so I mean, if you guys are in the market, definitely these uh, these headsets here, if you're into that sort of stuff, are really, really cool. Um, one more thing that I actually kind of figured out on my computer that I didn't know about here, which was kind of neat, is, well, one thing, you notice how my LEDs on my computer are blue. I actually just ordered two more uh, foot-long LEDs for my computer that are going to be green, since all of my, well, my favorite color is green to begin with, but uh, now it's gonna, I'm going to get rid of these blue LEDs and change them to green. But what's really cool about this is, is I didn't even know, is that I've got little latches that I can actually unhitch and open up my computer and actually get into my computer there work change and work on the fans and then right here there's a little tab I can flip up and then remove that screen and clean the screen and the fan I know this is probably late as I've had this computer for I don't know how long and just now notice that both of these little hatches here open up and close snap close so that way I can get easy access to my computer and clean the fans it's pretty cool I've never even noticed that before so at any rate guys um, I hope you guys enjoyed my last update video. Um, I know I said this is my last video, but I might do one more when my green LEDs come in and wire it up to kind of show you the fi the final finished product, the project and product for that matter. But but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, if you guys are in the market for a headset, the Razer Crack and 7.1s, phenomenal headset. I completely recommend it. Um, they are. Uh, 7.1 surround and when you set them up it's pretty cool they have like a sound of a helicopter like right in front of your face and then the helicopter sound flies around your head just to give you the, the to kind of give you a tutorial of how the headsets are going to sound and they're going to sound pretty cool when you get into like Battlefield 4 and all these new generation games so at any rate guys um, I'm going to wrap up this video here the next video is going to be probably when I get my green LEDs for my computer and kind of show you one final setup of how everything's going and uh, yeah we'll go from there hope you guys enjoyed it we'll see you guys next time have a great day